Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Meyer Studio Sketch Club. My name is Jason Meyer, and this is my lovely wife, Cindy Meyer, right over my shoulder there. And tonight we're going to continue our talk about movement. Right, we were working in some ink last night, being a little little looser. And we're gonna continue that, but we're gonna keep working on uh, the big composition. And we're gonna start looking at and studying the background mountains today. So let's hop to it. Let's hop to it. Miss Shakti and Ellie, great to have you guys here. Good to have you. Oh, we got a watcher. Hey, it's okay, guys. It's okay. It's good to watch. It's good to watch, watch, watch. Hi, Miss Claudia. Good to have you. All right, let's see what we got in store today. So we've got the pins there. We've got, where are the mountains? Hey, mountains, where'd you go? Where are the mountains? Hey, there are the mountains. Okay, so this is gonna be um, part of the background for the big painting. But today, I just wanna think about, let's see, how big should we go? How's that? Is that pretty good? <clears throat> There's a certain, I want to get a feel for the mountains, but ultimately what I want to do is have a rhythm running through them. So a little quick process that you can get almost any time is you can think movement. And then you can think, how would we say this? Dimension. And then containment. Okay. So what that means that is if I had a, a way I wanted to go, let's say I wanted to go this way, then that would be my movement. And the dimension of that would be this side would be near me. And then as we go around, that side would be away from me. So it's gonna be smaller. And then containment could look like that. Right, so, and the thing is, is you can be pretty loose about that, but we generally wanna do movement first, get a good movement through here. So what would be the movement of those mountains? Well, the general movement is gonna be from larger to smaller. Okay, start simple, there's, there's no need to be complicated. Now, when we do this, is, is that, no, the floor of the mountains are gonna stay pretty level. So that shouldn't really go up off the floor. It should stay level somewhere around there. And then we can think about where we want to end and where we want to start. Like where do we want the peak of that last mountain? Let's just say for, just say for kicks and giggles, for kicks and giggles. I said kicks, I said kicks, K-I-C-K-S, kicks. Kicks and giggles. All right. We'll have some trees on the ground out here. Big, tall trees. So that means we can move back, move back, move back. So we could have some small trees back here at the base. And let's see. Let's go, let's go smaller. Go smaller. Something like that. And then where do I want this first mountain? So between here and here, I've got those two. Come up 
here. Okay, so this is almost almost like kind of a dry run. If you will, I feel like that's too tall. Should probably be it down maybe somewhere in the middle there. Okay, so do I like those proportions? Uh, I think I could probably go smaller down here for more, more dramatic effect. So let's just lower that. Let's say that would be maybe this high. Okay, so I'm gonna move that down to about there. And then that would allow me to move this one down just a bit more. So that one was like that. One's here, over here. Let's see. About that size. And again, how simple, how simple, simple, simple can we keep it? Simple is not unsophisticated. Quite, quite the contrary. It takes taste and it takes all kinds of things to simplify well. Okay, does that, huh, doesn't quite feel big enough, but I think it is. So let's see as we develop these values if this doesn't start to become bigger. So why don't we come forward a little bit. A little bit darker with those. And this whole mountain goes around too. How are we going to express that? How are we going to express that? So all I've done here is I've taken size, walked it back into space, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building up value and texture and stuff to where that this is darker and more. And as we go back, we're just going to try to get less and less and less. So what would be darkest and most would be if there was trees in front of here.
Oh, isn't this what trees look like? <laughs> what species? Uh, I think this is the gum tree family. <laughs> what? I said gum, but this is actually eucalyptus over in the park. Eucalyptus. Oh. Some more up front, yeah. And then the sun's gonna be blasting in from here, so as these things turn around, they're gonna be falling into a little shadow. Hard edge on this side, soft edge on that side. All right, let's see. Today is Wednesday, and it looks like today is a no talking Wednesday. So this was not planned, it just kind of happened. I guess I'm into it. I'm into it and I'm lost. What am I gonna do here? Where am I going? What's my name? 
But look at that. That's L awesome. Look at what? You're awesome. You're the one that's awesome, not me. Oh, stop. You stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little storybook that came out of nowhere. Story? What? Well, the background to a story. Oh, the background. What's the story about? I'd like a story. Tell me a story time. <laughs> story time. Tell me a story. Okay, where are we going? We're going back. Back where? Back into space. You cool with that? I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. Be cool, man. Be cool. Alright, let's see. Let's have some more trees. So these trees are this big. These trees will be something like this. Bum, 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 bum. It's got to look enough to take care of the instruction.
Nadia said. Mm-hmm. And now you need to write the story for the book. <laughs> and then it's very fairy tale-ish. Claudia, what's your job? What's your job? How come I got to do it all? I'll tell you what. I'll draw the things. You guys write the story. Why don't... Okay. Um, who's going to write the first line? And then you guys can write it in the chat. Write your story in the chat as it's drawn. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, what do we got here? What do we got going on here? So we've got this big dark coming across here and it's gonna be working back in layers. Come to my secret layer. <laughs> no, layers. Oh. oh. Not an Austin Powers movie. Nope. Nope, those I left off for somebody else. <laughs> I left those for somebody else. All right, so this is about bigger and I wanna go back into space further and further as I'm moving across this way. Izzy's gonna be over here looking. Some of this is actually gonna be behind her. And then we've got what, three feet to go before we hit a tree over here. And so like this negative space is gonna end up being very important. Very important. And the atmosphere is gonna be important. The atmosphere is gonna be important. So if this painting went across something like that, then this is gonna be the darker side of the sky And it'll get a tad lighter as we come across. Oh, somebody opened the wrong end of the pen. So we'll call that a shooting star. <laughs> it's the aliens throwing out their McDonald's as they drive by. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. So you'll have to ignore whatever this is coming out of the, we got all kinds of space invaders here. Woof. <laughs> all right, where's this? All right, let's.
guys think for the first go of the study of the background? Will something like this work? Something like this work? So a lot of times what I like to do is come through and do it quickly without giving, you know, some general thought, but just go ahead and kind of spit it out. And then what I get from this is I can build up my ideas. For instance, for instance, make sure this is all dry ish <clears throat> now I see that this dark shape can be designed and I see its components All right and now I'm thinking about not only the shadow part of the mountains but how they connect with the uprights of the trees and as the mountains walk back in space, we can also walk trees back in space that are gonna help us step back and back and back. And so the next time around, I'll think about my tree spacing, the design in here and the connection with this. So I'm gonna spend a lot more time and slow down a little bit and think about this design. Is, are these angles good? Let's see. It, are they too sharp? Are they too narrow? We got one, two, three. Wow, some fence builder bent th built that. What do we need to do? Maybe group these two here. And that actually group all of this. And then group that and then let this guy fly solo. And so then I'd spend a lot of time on the negative shapes around this guy. Okay, and so I would see this as almost a piece to work out, and then this would be a piece to work out. And I won't spend as much time, as much detail. It'll be less, less, to where back here might just be some smudges. And yes, that's a technical word, smudge. <laughs> <laughs> smudge. All right, how did everybody do tonight? How did everybody do tonight? Did that make sense tonight? Did that make sense? And what I'm hoping is, even if you can't follow along step by step right here as I go through, I hope you're seeing a process that you can take and apply anywhere, anytime to um, whatever you desire, right? Whatever you desire to, to work on, you can bring this um, method to bear on those problems, right? You probably even have this break that plane, shouldn't we? All right, maybe break this plane too. All right, so that we actually don't see this much of that first hill, it's mostly trees. You guys see that? All right, Mama, we're wrapping it up. What do we have to, do we have anything we have to say tonight? Any announcements? Any no. new jokes? That's it. <laughs> no? That's it for the free courses for the week. We'll be back here. We have class on Friday, but we'll be back for Sketch Club on Sunday night. Okay, so we'll have um, Friday feedback. 
for those of you in class, live online uh, through the school on Zoom uh, Friday from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. So um, if you haven't, go ahead and work on your day two and get that turned in by tomorrow evening for me um, so I can get that lined up and ready for the show on Friday. And then we'll take a look and see how you guys are doing and uh, give you some feedback. And that's it. Then other than that, we'll be back Sunday evening for another edition of Sketch Club. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. As always, if you're happy with what you turned out, if you turned in a sketch, we'd love for you to uh, send it in and show it to us. And uh, from time to time, we'll have to share some of your guys' sketches on here. That's awesome. All right, everybody. Have a beautiful evening. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.